Okay, so hey, black women, I'm on lunch, right? But I wanted to just talk about something that is just rubbing me a little bit the wrong way right now. And it is all of these negative um, talking points when it comes to black women and the median income and how much we make based upon age range and these income tables that are gathered by independent groups and etc where these numbers are never correct 100 percent because let me tell you something when you fill out for certain things right when you fill out for taxes you fill out for um loans you want to fill out for different jobs you there are different things that you may fill out in life where surveys are taken and money is um, tallied, or I should say the information is taken to put together these polls that are not official, right? So officially, when you really want to know how much money people make, you have to go to the Department of Finance in each particular city or each particular state, town, county, whatever it is you're doing. Because what they do there is they keep the totals of what everybody makes and they don't do it in age range they do it in gender and um just groups of people like they'll do black women white women whoever whatever and they'll just tell you this is the medium income period and they always do it like that because they they can never say which is the lowest or which is the highest because they don't know that and they don't have the opportunity to watch every single person's paycheck and if their paycheck goes up or significantly drops. So I just wanted to point this out because like I said, I get a little beaten down and tired of all of this negativity that's always um, projected and, and geared towards black women and trying to kill our hopes and dreams and make it seem like, you know, we are like white racist people do to us already. Like we just are not deserving of everything, anything good. We always gotta have shit bad. And there's no need for looking forward to anything good cause you're not gonna get it. And you always get the short end of the stick when that shit is not true. Every one of us has the complexity or propensity to do better based on our own personal initiative, drive, get up and go, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, but if you don't have it in you to stop feeling sorry for yourself and just do the shit you got to do and deal with whatever disadvantages or um, sabotage that's thrown in your way in life, you just, you would just literally ass out. The other people that could jump over that shit, rebound, come back, and do better and find another way to approach it, they're actually doing what they need to do. So even though, you know, people put up polls and shit about how some how much somebody makes, I can tell you firsthand that that shit is not true. And you already know that. Because every single quantitative or qualitative chart that is created is biased and it's based on what it is they're talking about. There is no one thing that speaks to everything, no matter where you are or what you're talking about. There are exceptions to every rule. There are people that are gonna be like within the 10 percentile that are just fucking excellent. And then you're gonna have scrubs and that's life. So, um, I can tell you this, black women, and take this seriously from me. If you wanted to take advantage of New York City or New York State, if you come here, and let's just say you had to start out in a shelter. Who gives a shit? Let's just say a shelter, right? You start out there, you already have a place to stay. If you come here and you don't want to go to a shelter, you come here and you start living in either Airbnb or an extended stay hotel. 
you go on to the New York City website for jobs or testing from jobs, you can get a job literally the same fucking day. If you go to welfare, you have to get on welfare. Welfare can set you up with services the same day and also help you with a job the same day as long as you have a high school diploma. I'm telling you all of this because a lot of times, I hate these dudes, when, you know, I hear all of this negativity being spewed at us to try to keep us down and mentally beat us down by, hello, by other black women, right? I do not like it because I know it's coming from a deep-seated a deep seated place of issues and hate and unnecessary hatred for black women that have never done anything to you. And I don't understand it, but I know why they do it. Because the same impulse you have to tear black women down, you can redirect that energy to try to lift them up instead of tearing them down. So the moral of this story is, if ever you go to any big major city, that city is geared to have the workers generate revenue for the city. So if you don't have to come to New York City, you could even go to Chicago, you know, or what is another major city in New York, in um, America? Is New York is the number one, Los Angeles, um, any major city. I don't know many of them, I only know my own, sorry. But let's just say Chicago is the next, or even like, um, well, I don't know about that state. But if you went to Chicago, because I know it's based very similarly to ours, because it's still in the um, Eastern Midwest, right? So if you went there and you started looking for work and you applied yourself and you got into all types of programs and you applied for jobs and you actually had a real education, high school diploma, associate's degree or bachelor's degree, you would start out with depending on where you work and what your education would be, anywhere between the, the mid 40s, lower 50s, right? And that's the beginning, because everybody has them, in major cities, everybody has to go through like a year of probation to make sure you're gonna stay on the job, there's longevity in hiring you and that you actually can do your job, right? So after you do that, the majority of the major cities, mine included, your salary drops like another five, thousand or whatever within that next year like i know here with us if you come in on a low paying job let's say you come in 45 47 something like that right because you don't have a lot of education let's say only a associate's degree by that third year or second year going into the third year you have already jumped to the mid 50s damn near hitting 60 because that's how this city works and it is contractual, meaning the unions here fought to make it that way. So I'm only telling you the reality of things for certain places because I hate to hear all this negative shit by black women who have not applied themselves in life the way that they really should and trying to make it seem like their lot in life, if they're not doing well and having issues, is every other black person's problem or black woman's problem. And it's not. We all get knocked down even me but you got to have the tenacity to get your ass back up and go do what you got to do with more of a fire than when you first started and the last thing i'm gonna tell you right before i go is young black women stop playing around on this fucking youtube and playing with bullshit ass jobs in your life that are low paid paid low wage earning and what is it working poor positions because in order for you to get a decent social security payment when you get older, you have to get a certain amount of credits. And if you want your social security payment to be over $5,000 a month, you can't be playing with no bullshit jobs that are paying you less than $25 an hour. So please get your ass in gear wherever you live. There are state jobs, city jobs, federal jobs take those tests get those positions do whatever you got to qualify to have them and increase your take-home pay because when you get older 
you are going to be fucking on welfare and living destitute if you do not amp up the money you're making right now so that when the government goes to calculate how much money they should give you to take care of yourself when you owe outside of not including retirement or whatever else it is you do for yourself you ain't gonna have money, no money to live off of so stop playing online with these bullshit channels get a real job and start making real money invest get back your your income tax put that money to work for you and stop playing on here and stop listening to women telling you that you ain't shit you ain't never going to be shit and you never going to make no money because that is ultimate bullshit all right i got to get back to work have a good day